Lovely company working as an intern today. I'll be talking about nomination under Payment of Gratuity Act. Now, under Section 6, a nomination is submitted by an employee within 30 days of the end of the first year of employment in order to be considered under this Act, which was created in 1972. Now, who can be nominated? Only family members can be nominated by an employee and no other persons. That can be dependent parents, dependent parents, wife or widow and children of the predeceased sons. How to nominate a person's employer must receive the nomination on form F on her behalf. If the employee did not have a family as defined under the Gratuity Act, at the time of the initial nomination, a new submission using form G is to be submitted. How will, like, will it order will it override the beneficiary nomination? The laws governing gratuity payments in the event of the employee's passing are generally identical to those governing the payments of EPF benefits. It is unlikely that they would be entitled to the proceeds. When the nomination is legitimately made, the nominee only retains the money on behalf of the employee's legal aid. As a result, the nominee is legally obligated to pay the gratuity money. Now, forms used in nomination. Form D is the notice for excluding husband from the family. Form E is notice of withdrawal of notice excluding husband from the family. Form F is nomination. Form G is fresh nomination. Form, form H is notification of nomination. According to this act, it is necessary for the employee to prescribe the name and names of the nominee soon after completing one year of service. Now, how to determine the amount of gratuity according to section 7, which lays down the rules. The employer shall can calculate the gratuity amount and provide notice to in writing and it should be made within 30 days. Now calculation of gratuity. <coughs> gratuity is equal to number of years divided by the last drawn salary divided multiplied by 15 into 26.